What is the correct abbreviation of Parmigiana? Is it Parmi or Parma? It is a tedious debate. It's been argued back and forth in Australia for the last several years. I think it's time we declare a winner in the Parmi versus Parma debate. I think the Parmies have won it. Yes, in previous years, McDonald's have had a Parmi burger. Red Rooster had a Parmi burger. And now, the final nail in the coffin, Hungry Jacks have released the Parmi burger. Burger. All of them called Palmy, none of them called Palmer. So for all the Palmer enthusiasts out there, I'm sorry. It's time to uh, to hang up your hat. It's uh, it's it's time to give up. The Palmies have won it. Personally, I blame Clive Palmer for making the word Palmer sound kind of unappetizing. Anyway, as I said, I'm here at Hungry Jack's to check out their brand new Palmy burger. Now, what is it? It is their Jack's Fried Chicken. Obviously, you can also get it in the grilled chicken variety. It has a uh, Napoli sauce, which seems new. A new Napoli sauce. Cheese, obviously. And uh, the addition of mayonnaise, which seems a bit odd. I don't really think of like mayonnaise belonging on a chicken parmy, but anyway, it might be good. It, uh, it might be a waste of time and money. Either way, let's check it out. Happy soda when you're ready. Yeah, can I get the Palmy Jack's fried chicken, please? Yeah, and a meal just by itself. Nah, just by itself, thanks. Yeah, we've had everything. Yep. Yeah, you're all good, driving too. Thank you. Hey, um, do you still have those Jack's fried chicken hats? Um. Like, I saw people had to wear them, like, before. Oh, okay. Sorry. Cheers. Sorry, can I just get you down to the next Yeah, minute? no worries. Thank you. I think I bamboozled her with that uh, hats thing. Oh, I said the wrong thing. That's why she was confused. Yeah, the, the chicken fries hat. The Tommy fried chicken? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one? Yeah. Like... Sorry. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, I was asking before. I think I confused her. I meant the, the chicken fries hat. Like, you, you oh, had yeah. the, the orange chicken fries hats? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, like, the hats? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, did you have to send them back or... Run out at the moment. Right. Usually do. Yeah. Could I get one or? Oh, so we don't have any at the moment. We've run out of all. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, they look so pretty right popular. Yeah. Oh well. No worries. You Thank you. See ya. Damn. I uh. I wanted one of those hats. Alrighty, I am back from the drive-through with. My Palmy Jack's Fried Chicken. I think that's its official title. Anyway, let's uh, let's give it a go. It smells good already, and it is pretty hefty. So let's check it out. Alrighty, wrapped. Wow, that is that that sauce is really strong. Really nice. Good stuff. Anyway, wrapped lovingly in uh, just in the paper. Let's unsheath this bad boy. See what it's all about. There we go. Pop it up. There we go, looking very orange there, very orange indeed. Wow. Uh, yeah, it looks all right. Hey, this, this aspect here. Whoa, look at that, that is a big bit of chicken. That actually looks quite good. Let me, I'll just, I'll just take this, whoa. So there it is there. Um, what do we think, people? Hmm. I think that's not bad. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, a little bit sloppy in its uh, in its construction there, but you know, we'll uh, we'll we'll do the job, I think. Hmm, let's take a closer look. Alrighty, so we have the bun, of course, the brioche bun. We have a bit of bacon there, very nice. Again, just that kind of anemic-looking Hungry Jack's bacon, mayonnaise, cheese, and the big hunk of fried chicken, and uh, yeah, a really kind of wet moist uh, bun there and uh apparently this is ghee like they use ghee hmm anyway let's just get stuck into it okay hmm whoa that is a big bit of burger yeah that is uh that is a lot let me go in for more Mm, I think they did make that fresh because that is quite hot. That is quite hot chicken. That is a good bit of chicken. 
Wow. Okay, that is, uh, that's one of the sloppiest burgers I've had for a while. There's a lot of mayonnaise there, lots of stuff going on. The sauce is quite good, but I think the issue with mine is there just wasn't that much sauce. There was more mayonnaise than sauce. This was mainly a Jack's Fried Chicken Burger. I couldn't really taste the Napoli sauce there at all. It was kind of just squirted on one little side, but the, the Napoli sauce I could taste was pretty good. The cheese, they've used the regular Hungry Jack's cheese, and that's good enough. Like, that's fine. That goes really quite well with the chicken. I don't quite know why they've added the mayonnaise. It kind of doesn't add anything, and if anything, it makes it less of a palmy, in my opinion. I don't think palmies need mayonnaise. I could be wrong. The bacon, I don't know what it is. They, they like, Hungry Jack's must order just the least bacon tasting bacon ever. Like, try it by itself. It's like they, they use some special machine to cut it really thin. And then they just microwave it. Like, even by itself, it just tastes kind of vaguely, well, it tastes like ham, not bacon, you know what I mean? There is a difference. Yeah, like I don't think they smoke that bacon. It's supposed to be smoky bacon, but it's not. But yeah, the, the um, you know, the Jack's Fried Chicken is good. I like the Jack's Fried Chicken. But this, <clears throat> this burger does rely on that a fair bit. It really is carrying it. It's not that much different to a normal Jack's Fried Chicken. And yeah, this, uh, this base, I mean, look at that. It's millimeters thick. It's, it's being crushed under the weight and moisture of the Jack's fried chicken. So it's it's falling apart. The base is saying to the chicken, You are tearing me apart! Jack's fried chicken. It's um not like super well thought out. I, I don't know why they use the brioche buns. They, they're trying to make things fancy with the brioche buns, but I don't like them. Just use the regular sesame seed buns. Like, who cares? And the ghee. I don't know what the ghee is there for. I don't think it needs butter, you know? If anyone could clarify the ghee situation for me, that would be great. So that was twelve seventy five. Mmm. Like the Jack's fried chicken, it is a decent bit of fried chicken. Like you do get a fair bit of meat there, so you know you finish one of them, it's it's a pretty decent lunch. Twelve seventy five for a burger these days. You know, inflation, cost of living, etc. It is what it is. I don't know. Um, whatever. So to summarize, it's uh, it's good, but it's not that much better than Ajax fried chicken. Maybe if mine had more Napoli sauce on it, I would be saying something different. As always, your mileage may vary. Anyway, many thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, that would be great. You can become a member of this channel now if you want to, like no pressure. I won't be adding like special bonus things just for members, like Maybe, like, they'll get some videos earlier than other people. I don't know. I haven't quite worked it out yet. I, I don't have the time or just the mental space to, like, address that at the moment. But if you want to support the channel, then go for it. That would be cool. Anyway, many thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, all of that. Please leave a comment. Cheers. Hmm. Yeah, the fried chicken is, is really quite good, but just the surrounding sort of stuff is, is letting it down, holding it back.